you know, that's what hurt the most, that women who have lived through this, for them not to say, you know what, that's wrong, I don't support that, I'm not voting for that. So he comes in like he owns the place and like he owns you and is just looking at us, eyeing us up and down and then walked into the dressing room where we have two big security guards to make sure nobody but the girls and our female chaperones can get into the dressing room and he just walks right in. And I'm allowed to go in because I'm the owner of the pageant and therefore I'm inspecting it. You know, I'm inspecting, right, I right. want to make sure that like everything doctor, is good. You're, you're there. Yeah, the dressing room. Is everyone okay? You know, they're <laughs> yeah. standing there with no clothes. Is everybody okay? And you see these incredible looking women and so I sort of get away with things like that. And he shook my hand, you know, and he kind of gave me the normal double cheek kiss. Um, but then he held on to my hand and he kept kissing me. You know, he kept asking me maybe a, a question, where are you from, and kissing me again. And then he kissed me on the lips. I sat down and he introduced himself as Donald Trump. All of a sudden, he was all over me, kissing and groping and groping and kissing. But then when his hand started going up my skirt, I think the investigation by Congress is probably the only thing we can ask for. I think it only stands fair that he be investigated as well. Um, and I think also a nonpartisan investigation is very important, um, not, you know, not just for him, but for anybody that has allegations against them. Um, this isn't a partisan issue. If they were willing to investigate Senator Franken, um, I think it's only fair that they do the same for Trump. I don't think he should have been elected to begin with. In terms of resigning, I think it's probably the right thing to do, but I would never imagine he's going to do that. I think Trump will eventually be forced to quit. I unfortunately feel that the sexual aggression issue is kind of low on the list of things wrong with Trump. The good people of Alabama could, could see through this, but we've gotten so polarized with, with the politics. They want to keep a Republican seat, even though it's a pedophile. His endorsement of Roy Moore makes perfect sense for him because he was able to just deny, you know, what we said, and that got him elected just fine. So, you know, it's like he's passing the torch.